the gentle mentor. And probably, probably, I, I, that's the only thing I could think. Either that, yeah. or, or they had had way more of what they were talking about than I had. But <laughs> I'll, I'll live up to, I'll, I'll live up to every story in there. There were two specifically that I'm oh, like, that's, man. that's right, not. We have to talk about that. You have to give me a chance to go back and review that, and we got to talk about that offline so I can, oh, okay. uh, I can find out who those. They were, they were lame. They now. were, they were ones that weren't that funny. I'm so so I'm not. I'm so curious. I was now. like, oh man, that wasn't very funny. I'm like, oh, it wasn't real either. So oh. it tells you all the, all the really funny ones actually happened. Why didn't so. you just call BS right then? No, I told That's my crap. wife. I said I should have done that. <laughs> yeah, man, wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you think it's somebody? Well, else. it was. I wouldn't have thought it was made up except that it was two in a row. And like the first one uh, happened, and it was like, oh, I'm trying to make up a story that's better than what I've heard so far. And then the next one was like, well, I'm going to try to beat that one. I'm like, no. You guys should go back to real stories. I don't know. You know, sorry, stories, I'm taking us off our point. We were doing. No, really no, I think it, I think it's fine. I think the stories, I think the stories that they had were universally funny. Um, I I think the stories that you and I share, a lot of the stories that you and I share, are so momentarily internal. You know, the tent, the trash. Sure. Um, then there's it, lots it of takes, that stuff too, but it, it, it takes so much to, to set up a story, to make it even funny for someone. And it's like, that, that, that was my only one that I, I thought about previously. It was the one that's pretty easy, but he can really, yeah, like I said, everybody's got board one. banging against the wall. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got one. Mike, Mike had a really good one, but he didn't use it. And I told uh, him that he called today. He's like, I thought of another story. I'm like, why didn't you tell the one about Elitch gardens? It's like, Oh yeah. I'm oh, like, you told me about that. Yeah. I remember that. I'm like, you could have had me right there. Oh, it's like, man. oh man, I didn't even think of that. I'm like, I did. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you intentionally saved yourself, so good job. I did, but it was it was still fun. It was well worth it, and it was like I said, it worked out perfectly because it gave everybody something to talk about, and nobody had to worry about offending anybody. So, no, no, those are the kinds of calls you want to be and conversations you want to be involved in. It was a trip. I couldn't believe it. The whole thing from start to finish was like, but. I digress. Andy, been great if Andy was there. <laughs> he was. <laughs> in spirit. He was there once in a while. He was around. Andy's total reaction to him was like, mm, excuse me. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> he was like, man, I've been, I've been part of so many great stories. I don't remember. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's tough to just nail one down and go, and here's a funny one everyone will enjoy. Yeah, that's tough too. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah the struggle is real the struggle's going on this struggle's probably going to continue to go on you know the only options at this point were what 12 days out from inauguration no we're eight days out i was going to say we a week a week and a day so the only options are that something really crazy and stupid happens or that nothing happens and we get joe biden and we just go moving along and it doesn't matter which one of those things is true or something completely other than that's true. There's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no, 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 not really. So, so, so the let's, best, let's, let's have it. Let's, let's, let's take a moment. The best thing to do is maintain your own sanity. Yes. The best way you can. Yes. Like I said, unplug yes. from the, from even stuff like this that could be encouraging. This is not the time to lose sleep over something. No, no, no. You need your sleep. Losing not, sleep will make you time, even more imbalanced. This is not the time to start worrying about your children's future or about your future or about the market or anything. I know a lot of people have a lot of things riding on the line, but it's not it's not the time for that yet. I think we're we're still pretty no. pretty far from that. Um so I was going to ask you. Oh, oh, so let's take a moment and go. Okay. Well, let's let's a few months down the road. It may not take that long. Maybe next week. <laughs> we're gonna maybe next. If Thursday. we're all here, next Thursday we can look back and go, aha, or ah, I was completely wrong. Let's. I just want to just want to say that you know I've spent a good part of my life in church and theology, and I just, I don't remember anybody coming up with this version of end times. I just was, did anybody True. have this? Did anybody That's call this one? Because I, so. I remember everybody had an opinion so. about what the end was going to look like, and yep. there's the third toenail yep. on the beast. Anybody have this lineup? Because I didn't. I, I didn't see I this. So. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see this either. I didn't. Anyway, you were saying it's something not in, meaningful. This is not in the uh, Pentecostal Foundations of Theology. Yeah. Eschatology. Yeah, yeah, es yeah, eschatology Weekly. Not in the Eschatology <laughs> chapter of Foundations of Pentecostal <laughs> Theology. It just was not there. I don't remember seeing it. It's, you know, beasts and stings and... You know, tattoos on your forehead. That's, yeah. That's not, that's not Nobody happening. wants that. 
Now, I was to say, let's just take a moment and, and, and throw out a, okay, what do we think happens in the next uh, eight days? What, what do you, do you want to go first? Do you want, do you want me to say, and uh, oh. I, just, just not a, um, I, you know, just so we can look back for our own entertainment and go. <laughs> so funny. far, what we know is that they're trying to stage something. We don't know what happened Wednesday. We know what we saw, but we also know we've heard other things and seen other things which call into question whether the narrative we're getting there is the for real narrative. Yeah. Is that really what happened? Did people get mad? Well, we can be pretty sure at this point what didn't happen. What we don't know is, like, what's this going to lead to? Because I've heard over the last couple of days several rumors about, well, this and this and this are going to happen. And this group of people are going here and it's like, okay, first of all, let's not have any of that. But second of all, I doubt that any of that's true. I could see someone getting it together to do something really stupid on Inauguration Day. Mm -hmm. That's my... You're talking about the kind of stupidity that we saw. In past, or or bigger, not not something something okay. he headline grabby, yeah, okay. or an attempt at that, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. not necessarily at the inauguration, but on that day somewhere, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, um, if we can get through there and get the inauguration over with, I think things will go back to back burner. Simmer will be kind of back where we were. People are going to be, you know. Uh, more irritable, I think. Less. Oh man, one hates to think of being, things being less friendly than they have been. Um, like I said, the biggest I think the biggest thing we have to do is we have to stave off the us versus them tribalism stuff. Yep. And I think by far the best way you do that is with the people you live with and around. Agreed. You make sure you're keeping contact with your neighbors. It helps stabilize everybody. It helps everybody feel more normal, and it'll keep things from getting weird in your home area, whatever that yes. is. Yes. If that means shutting off the freaking TV, if you got kids in your house, keep them away from that TV and the social media. That's all they need. They're little kids, even if they're not that little. If they're still at home kids, hug them, love them, play board games, do something that's not built around this you don't have to avoid it play like it's not happening but don't dwell on it don't rub your kid's face in it keep them away from it don't create drama in your own home or something yeah and and everywhere you go besides your home and your immediate community every business every person you interact with go double hard at showing kindness right now mm. even if it's killing you first of all it's going to benefit them and it's going to benefit you because you're going to encourage them and dispel any kind of mythology they're dealing with. You're going to reassure them that, you know, that's, that's TV world. We live here. Yeah. And so I think those are, I went on to like positive first steps because I don't know what's going to happen. I think something really bad could happen. I know from watching human beings that given the choice between doing something really good and doing something really bad, they'll almost always want to do the good thing and wind up doing the bad thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping, I, my hope is that we can all work together to kind of bring the, bring the rhetoric level down, you know. You mm -hmm. can't stop the talking machines, but you can turn them off. Yeah. And then, you know, you don't have to listen. You don't have to uh, subject your family to, hello? Hey. Yeah, I'm recording. How can I help you? <laughs> hello? All right. Hi. Now my hands are going to be clean. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to see you. Good to see Should you. Should bring you some hand sanitizer? Uh, new bottle of hand soap for my bathroom, yeah. Oh, I, com okay. I complained Fantastic. a couple weeks ago that my bottle oh, was okay. almost empty. And now I'm getting a new bottle every week. So I've got three in there now. The last time you'll complain about hand soap. <laughs> you get some hand lotion. You complain about hand lotion. There you go. No, I don't. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't no, know. I like it. I like like it. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm tremendously concerned that something bad could happen. But yeah. when, why is that any worse now than normal? Well, the situation. Yeah. But something stupid. People doing stupid stuff doesn't stop, just stop or start on an inauguration. No. No. <laughs> um, What's your well, forecast? I... I, li I like what you're saying. First of all, I love I love what you're saying about uh, taking some positive steps towards you know preventing that. Um, I think uh, I think you're right. I'm going to agree with you and say that uh, things are only going to escalate because we've watched people before. 
and people are just that's what that's what we have. I don't. I think, yeah, there there might be a cooling off period, but I think, uh, you know, there's been too much. There's been too much widespread shutting down of one side of it, mm -hmm. that when when the other side finally comes up, people are going to go. Wait a minute, this seems awfully one sided. <laughs> Even the people on that side, yes. I think, may feel like, wait a minute, this is awfully one sided. Yeah, um, I think we're I think we're just beginning to see that tilt happen. I would I would agree. I would agree. I don't I, know I what it the, what it gives us long term, but yeah, I'm. I'm I think I'm the strongest that. person in our the strongest people in our society are those who can de-escalate drama, and exactly to to what you were saying about in your home, about in your workplace, about with your neighbors, de-escalate that drama and focus on uh, the 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 important. Focus on the important, not the urgent. Uh, mm. the, the urgent seems to pop up and distract us and t keep us from the important things. The important thing is you stay healthy, you keep your, your thinking in line, you keep your routines in line, you love people, you accept the love from other people, you talk to people, you stay in contact. Those are important things. The urgency pops us up and distracts us from the important. And so we see these things pop up, and I think they're going to continue to pop up. But I think that the people who are going to survive are the ones who can de-escalate that drama, and they see it on the news, and they can go, Okay, I see what's happening here, but I'm not so sure that's all the facts. Right. Instead of being, ah, oh my God, this is happening, and everything's on fire, and what are we gonna do? And I think we're gonna see some, I think we're gonna see some political awakening. I think uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about this next president being um, kind of shoved aside. Um, you know, the intention is to get this person out of the picture. Uh, I think what we're going to see is, no, no, we need to keep that person in the picture because they're more of our, uh, I don't know, puppet, whatever. <laughs> we're going to see more of that. I couldn't think of a better word, and I don't want to get us kicked off. But I, I think we're going to see a lot of uh, just, wow, that's really strange behavior. Oh, I see. I see what's yeah. happening. I see what's happening. And um, I, I don't think, I don't, I, I think we're in for a, uh, for, for some outside struggle, like I was mentioning before. I think that's going to probably hit us in the next couple of years for sure. I, I think if we can, definitely if our situation continues the way it is, because yes. it makes yes. us look weak. And it we does. Look, we and look weak makes... and we look confused, and this right. is a prime opportunity right. for outsiders to t try to take advantage right. of that. And right now the entire world is watching and going, hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. And there are some people who are like, this is our opportunity. And there are other yep, people who are just for like, sure. what a crazy bunch of, you know. Mm -hmm. Looney, Looney people, and I, I, I and I've thought us. the same thing <laughs> about I, us. Yes, and I don't, I don't think there's, there, there's uh, really, I, I don't know if I said this on a past podcast, but there, I don't think there's, I don't think there's much hope for America as we once knew it, but there are hope for Americans, and I think that's what we really need to focus on is is being hopeful, being kind, and mm -hmm. being loving of Americans and all people. That's Jesus, that's Jesus didn't come here to save America, but he did come here to save Americans. Yeah. Um, and 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 Russians and Chinese and Vietnamese and all those people. So it doesn't matter who you are. So yeah, I, I think I think it's just coming, but I think it's more of an awakening. I think people are going to be like, "Hey, what's going on?" I hope so. I, That's what you hope is that eventually people kind of go, "Oh, oh, oh," and then everybody just goes, "Oh, high five! Yeah, we got fooled. Let's get rid of these guys and we'll go on." Hopefully, hopefully, and that's my, that, but that's not without what you were saying that things are going to continue to escalate because we know we know how people respond. We've right, seen right. Seen that? I think that's going to continue to escalate because there will always, always be those people on both sides yep. who are just like make us as humanity go. Um, hope hope for the best be, and prepare for the worst, I think. But I think, I think the, the bulk of us are going to be coming into, wow, something is not right here. Yeah. Well, and hopefully there's some sort of realization. As I was talking to Johnny earlier, and we were talking about this, and he doesn't, doesn't hold out a lot of hope. And it's pretty, mm. you know, uh, negative about the whole thing. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm all for us getting better and and some of the stuff you said too but i don't i don't believe we're failed because i believe what i'm seeing or what i'm seeing some of right now is that kind of opening of eyes and reels ago yeah. oh the way yeah. you're you're oh wake them up it's like it's not really being awake it's realizing what you're looking at and i think one of the things that not the incident at the capitol but the response to the capitol has shown people is that those political parties those animal heads that we put so much store in don't really have any value yeah that that's not the real group 
that the real group is all those people that were in that room and all of us that aren't. And their willingness to negate our voices because of what some bad actors did and how quickly they're ready and how it happened on both sides of the aisle. Mm -hmm. You don't have any friends there. There's nobody there working for you anymore. So quit fighting with your relatives and your neighbors over a fight that these people are telling you to fight because yeah. they're not, I don't want to say this on a little disingenuous about their intentions. And now we've kind of seen them for who they are. The other thing that I would, that I was kind of missed that I want to paste on to my earlier statement, because I don't know, I think a lot of people deal with depression and anxiety, but I don't know how personally they deal with it. And one thing I want to point out is that for, especially for people with anxiety and for some people with depression, when that is flaring up, their response to out, outside stimuli mm -hmm. is to become irritable and combative. Mm -hmm. And that when you see somebody reacting that way, it's difficult. But try to understand it's probably not about you or that situation that they're responding to. It's about that internal anxiety level being up to here. And they can no longer internalize it. And it's starting yeah. to come out. And they'll start to bite. And you get snappy answers from people, and it's like, don't 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 use that as an opportunity to attack back. <laughs> Again, right. de-escalate, see that for what it is, and go, okay, that person's he's he's wound right now. This isn't the time. Or try to become like we talked about a stabilizing factor yes. in your world, man. Yes. We need it. There's no leadership out there right now, as far as. Sure. Someone trying to calm the situation sure. down. All the voices are about more and more more. You, you're not giving enough. You know, yeah. I made the mistake of listening to a little bit of congressional testimony today. And it took about five minutes. I'm like, nope, nope, no. nope. That's all we want to do. We want to exacerbate this whole situation. We want to make yeah. this as bad as possible. We want to seem we want to make it much worse than it really ever was. Of course. Of course. And we and we want to put personal names on it too. And oh I, sure. I, Blame game. Thing. Yeah. And I think this is one thing that that really is divisive is that um and I think you, you see it probably more in one side than the other in, than you do the other and you decide for you what, what side that is. I know for me that I see more of one side. Can I get a side of fries with that? Putting names on things instead of instead of focusing on the organizations. And, and, and I think that really keeps us away from loving people. I don't care who you are or what color flag you're flying. We The loving the people like you were saying earlier and then the, just the basic love for our fellow man dissipates so quickly when we when we include names well so and so mm. said this so and so did this and and we lose that we, we 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 tag them personally rather than tagging the organization they're involved in and it and it then it doesn't become 100 percent their fault and it's probably not i you i don't know if you can hardly anything person. is hardly Let's anything is you can't blame you can't put any of this blame on a person and a, on a name but our humanity maybe, loves that game. Yes, absolutely. And that's the part of the drama that we yeah. love that we've got to learn to de-escalate. And I think a part of that can just be saying, let's just think about this is institutionally, not personally. Right. This is an institutional problem. This is not a personal problem. This is an institutional issue we need to address, not a personal addition, well, issue that we need to address. The problem is just what you said, that these situations are not. This person's right, that person wrong. Very little right. of this stuff winds up in a black and white area. And we yeah. hate that. Our yeah. humanity wants everything uh, reduced to the simplest terms. And so yeah. what we want is a villain. Because we don't want to think about it. Too. We so want calories. Exactly. Lazy it brain. Out. It's exactly. lazy brain. Yep. Yep. This person's the, 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 here's the bad guy. He's the villain. Everything's his fault. If we get rid of him, if we just get him out of here, all this all will be better. All of problems will be solved. And it's like, Long. okay, well, Wrong. let's, we'll all wake up on the 21st or whatever and find out that, hmm, no, hmm. everything's, everything's kind of wow, just they like didn't, it was. They didn't go away, did they? Huh. Alakazam. Wow, amazing. But wow, that's, that's, amazing. that's why things like, you know, the evil Soviets of the 80s in our childhood were so easy to, to, to perpetuate because that idea, giving people a villain. Yes. It's like, here's the villain. You don't have to think about this really complex issue and all the different factors and things that go into this. Just focus on villain. Mm -hmm. And that's, 
you know, that's the the simple the simple version of humanity. The thing, the same part of us that's selfish, and loves comfort. That's the kind of the penultimate selfish comfort is lazy brain. I don't want to use my head. That's why so much stuff is perpetrated in churches and so much stuff is perpetrated on the public because people don't fact check. Nobody's got time. I'm busy. I got three jobs and seven kids and I got to get to soccer practice. Where do I fact check stuff at? Exactly. With fact checkers? Well, they're as (laughs) imbalanced as anybody else. Does Google have a good fact checker that I can look up? No. (laughs) What? I don't don't know where to go to fact, fact check things. But here's what I do know. I do know that if I walk across the street and knock on Jerry's door and go, hey, Jerry, you doing okay? Yeah, man, I'm doing great. Is there anything I can do for you? No, is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just checking on you. It's okay. The fact is, Jerry's okay. His family's okay. No. Yeah. Everybody's okay. That That's that's fact. I don't I Check check on those facts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like what you say about about just taking care of our people, and I think that's, that's where it's at. De-escalating drama. This has been a good conversation. I really like it. Well, I'm glad you could I be think, here. I think, uh, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. I think, uh, I'm glad you and your vest could make it. I think that, uh, you made me lose my train of thought, but I think the focusing on being healthy individuals and being healthy human beings, um, is the best way to heal the problems that we have right now. Yeah. And well, we, we've, we can, we've and done, I think we can do that by serving people, quit focusing on ourselves, de escalating drama. It's it's the stuff we always talk about. It's, it is. It's being it is. being being consistent. But it's never. It's not. It, heard. Especially it. Well, it's it's some, heard. It's like heard it needs some. To be. It's heard it's at not. least here and in the UK and in Indonesia, <laughs> Vietnam and, and Israel. Indonesia, you're always listening, Israel. <laughs> Israel, yeah, we, we we got some listeners in Israel. It is. It's 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 it's, it's man. We've talked about all these things. It's so important because we need all of them right now. It's almost like. We do. It was a set. We do. Hmm. We need we Somebody need we need selflessness and we need consistency and we need to de escalate drama in the world. I mean, it's not just in your house or in your neighborhood. That's where you can affect yeah. it. Yeah. But you know, it's 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 what it always is. It's it's the, the world is made up of individuals and families and people and if we can start and I can take care of mine and you can take care of yours and we can kind of reach out to the people around us then we can have and an I can effect. I can take care of you and you can take care of me. We can take you care of each other. You take care of me and I'll take care of you. Yeah, you know, is is communism's uh basic Keep shining. Keep basic smiling. philosophy is to destroy the 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 nucleus of the family. So that communism Marxism, really yeah. Marxism is is really to just to destroy the nucleus of the family. Then you don't have home stability. You have to rely on the state. Exactly, exactly. And I th- I think uh, not not by an intent necessarily. I'm not going to put put a blame on an intention of a group of people or a person. But I think that's just what's happening naturally to us. And I hate that. And I think it starts with us individually. I think it starts with being encouraging to each other. So. You've encouragement. I think you've been very encouraging to me this this evening. I really appreciate it. No, you've been encouraging to me. So. So. Cheers. Whoa. There was an echo. There, There's an echo. I've been Did you hear that? echo when I talk. Hello. So I don't hear your echo. Do you hear my echo? No, I just hear mine. Okay, I hear mine. It's just a little quick one. Though. Like my laptop speak, speakers are on and they're going through my mic. Something with, like that. With with some type of with a latency, half a second latency. Anyway, that's whatever. Hey, thanks for being here. No. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for being a part. We, we love you, you. Are you all talking you men, to me? Are you talking? I'm talking. I'm talking to everybody. All oh, you guys oh, oh. out there, all you people out there, listening. Listen, we love you. We, we we think you're we think you're a huge value to your community, your family. So please, please, please don't give up. And like Talk and subscribe us. and comment and share. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. The gentle mentor.